Billiards, as dynamical systems, are defined as closed domains where a particle moves ballistically except for elastic collisions with the boundary. The quantum analogues of these simple systems have played a remarkable role in establishing the main principles behind quantum chaos, the quantum mechanical study of classically chaotic systems. Properties of transport and decay of a quantum system mainly depend on the chaotic or regular properties of its classical analog. New experimental devices, like optical lattices, microwave resonator arrays with superconducting circuits, or photonic networks can simulate discrete quantum systems. Are the chaotic or regular properties of quantum discrete billiards the same as for their continuum counterparts? Can we observe new phenomena due to the discreteness of the lattice? One of the most su surprising results in the field of quantum chaos was the discovery by Heller that the probability amplitude of certain wave, wave function in a chaotic billiard concentrates along the trajectory of classical periodic orbits. These are the famous scars. What happens when we have a discrete quantum billiard with the same boundary as a normal billiard? In the lattice billiards, particles can hop between sides on the billiard, much like in a tight binding dis description of a crystal. One way to obtain information about the billiard dynamics is, is opening a hole and letting the particles inside the billiard leak out of it. Then, surprising things happen. In this video, we observe a simulation of the decay of a wave packet in a chaotic billiard with a quarter stadium shape. The initial state is just a Gaussian wave packet. As part of the density leaks through the billiard, we start noticing how the remaining density forms particular scar-like shapes, with the density localized in a few sites forming strip-like patterns. For long times, the image is almost sta static. There is a particular set of states that survives and never decays. We have termed these states lattice scars, in analogy with the Heller scars. However, these states are totally dominated by the lattice effects. For example, as we see in the image, the elastic reflection from the boundary is limited to zero or 90 degrees due to the geometry of the underlying lattice. If we plot the population inside the building as a function of time, comparing the chaotic stadium billiard we have shown previously with a regular rectangular billiard, we see that there is not a qualitative difference between the chaotic and regular billiards. For short times, the decay is exponential, and for long times, there is a finite portion of surviving population. We demonstrate that these lattice scar states are zero energy states and are present due to the departed nature of the underlying lattice. They live only in one of the sublattices of the original bipartite lattice, as shown in this figure for the square billiard with an underlying square lattice. The number of square states in each of the sublattices is equal to the number of sites in this sublattice minus the rank of the hopping matrix. Once the billiard is opened, part of these zero energy states acquire a large width and is responsible for the exponential decay at short times and part of the states remain coupled to the outside and survive for long times. In spite of the similarities in the decay properties due to the presence of these zero energy states on account of the reporting nature of the lattice, the spectral properties of the lattice billiards are very different between regular billiards that follow Poisson spectral statistics and chaotic billiards that follow random matrix theory and spectral statistics.